Ming Mattis Golf with another training aid video. Um, today we're reviewing the Tour Striker. Yeah, right. As if you're going to use this and end up on tour. Um, having said that, it's a really, really good device. Uh, basically, this thing is designed uh, to help you get forward shaft lean. Forward shaft lean at impact, hence compressing the ball using the loft of the club uh, properly, getting the ball in the air, putting a bunch of spin on the ball. So if I, um, sorry, there's a plane going overhead there. If I get a bit closer and show you the actual design of the club head, if you can see that, it's pretty conventional um, looking. It's about a seven iron or an eight iron length, something like that. But hopefully you can see just at the leading edge here, um, there's maybe the bottom half inch before the sole is this protrusion, this bulbous protrusion um, that's designed to basically top the ball. I'm not joking. Um, basically, if you make impact with the ball with a straight up and down shaft or a slightly uh, um, leaning backwards shaft, you'll introduce this little round uh, leading edge here into the ball and you'll just flat out uh, skull it, top it. So uh, in order to avoid doing that, you need to have your hands ahead of the ball uh, at impact, a bit of forward shaft lean, and then all of a sudden this flat uh, lofted bit here, doesn't even make sense, does it? Flat lofted, but the flat part of the face that has loft on it is then introduced into the back of the ball and uh, it will get the ball airborne. So that's what... Uh, you need to do. Okay, so let's move on to, sorry, I'm doing that because my daughter's coming out. I know she's going to make noise. So um, pros and cons. Okay, so the um, cons first. Um, this thing has one major drawback, and that is it's designed to put an iron swing on the ball. Okay, now what I mean by that is with your irons, you don't want to be striking down on the ball, bit of forward shaft lean, hit the ball first, club moves slightly down into the turf, compressing the ball, using the loft to get the ball airborne and creating a bit of backspin. That's what this thing will help you do. That's not necessarily the kind of swing you want to put on um, a fairway woods or a driver because especially with modern day drivers, to get the maximum performance out of them. At impact, we almost want to be hitting up on the ball, and you'll see more of kind of this picture as you make contact with the golf ball. You're more of the shaft in line with the left uh, arm for a right-handed golfer. The club is actually on its way moving up a few degrees as it makes contact, less spin on the uh, driver ball, and you'll get uh, more distance out of it that way. So um, same with the fairway woods, it's more of a sweeping action with a fairway wood off the fairway than it is a downward blow. So be careful with this guy, okay? If you're a really good driver of the ball, it's probably because you're a nice sweeper or you hit up slightly on the ball. And uh, this might make your irons better, but it might ruin your uh, nice fairway wood or driver swing. So that's the only thing you have to really be um, careful about. Otherwise, it's all pros for this thing, okay? It's around about 100 bucks, so pretty inexpensive, really, for a, for a decent training aid. It's pretty portable. Um, it goes, you know, right in your golf bag. You're carrying the weight of one extra club, uh, club. whoop de doo But the best, the best, the best, the best pro of all is that, yes, my friends, you can hit balls with it, okay? Um, I'm a big fan of training aids that you actually hit balls with because once that little ball there is sitting on the ground and you're actually trying to hit it, you make a very different uh, swing to your practice swing. Loads of training aids out there that you use uh, in a practice swing, uh, but that's great, okay? You're gonna learn to have a Tiger Woods practice swing, but that's not gonna give you uh, results in your real swing. So I love training aids that actually uh, force you to hit the ball with, and this is one of them. Uh, it's fantastic uh, for that. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention was 
with a lot of training aids, there's a bit of an instructional video that comes with it, and they tell you to do this and that and this in order to get it to work properly. The nice thing about this guy, it's almost, uh, it almost makes you better by osmosis. You know, it's like, um, just go out and swing it. And the brain being a very uh, clever instrument, somehow, don't ask me how, I'm not an expert on this, somehow it just figures out. It just figures out the fact that to get the ball airborne and stop topping it, you have to, you have to lean that shaft forward to introduce this lofty bit on the club. Uh, so it's great. I mean, it's, it's almost like you're just going out, hitting balls, having fun, and, um, and you get better that way just by hitting balls. It will just get you to put the club in the right position, which is great. Now, um, a word of caution. You might go and hit 50 balls in a row, which will be 50 tops, okay? You have to persevere, all right? This isn't like a three-swing miracle cure. You have to persevere. You have to put in a bit of time with it, but it will gradually make you get your hands forward and uh, get the ball airborne with uh, nice compression and uh, spin and all those lovely things. All right, so that's about it for the um, tour striker. Uh, I really rate it. Um, I haven't used it in a while. You can see my shaft is getting kind of uh, rusty here. I don't really struggle uh, getting the ball airborne anymore or compressing the ball. But uh, I really suggest that for amateurs who um, are beginners and struggle with the concept of uh, striking down on the ball, compressing the ball, um, using the loft correctly to get the ball airborne with nice backspin get yourself one of these it will get you on that path uh, to success much more quickly okay uh, i'll see you again soon with another training aid video and uh, thanks for watching oh uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up please and subscribe to the channel um, that's it see you